Yeah.
Israel. Amen. Amen. Brother Bobby, would you stand and ask a blessing? My brother. Hallelujah. Thank you for this day. Yes, you. Thank you. For Thank you, Jesus. Bless everyone that's in that church. Feel the church up there. Bless all good people to come here. Thank you. Bless us. Brother Anthony, bring us for us the word of spirit and truth. We ask everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 God bless you guys. Y'all can be seated. Man, in the presence of our Lord. Hey Amen. I just got a, uh, uh, just a, uh, a word. I just entitled it, the, the years coming ahead, 21 on forward. Hey Amen. Uh, I know uh, that, uh, that you guys know how uh, I stand as far as politically. Now, again, I, I'm going to stress this. Uh, I'm, I'm not being political. I'm being biblical. Amen. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Everybody say not. not. Uh, I'm, I, I am not a Democrat. I am not a Republican. I am not a Independent. I am a born again Christian. Amen. Amen somebody. Amen. Born again, concerned American citizen. Rather, I should say Babylon, Babylonian citizen. Maybe just put it like that. Amen. I can't help it. Hey, the Lord put me here in Babylon. Amen. That's, that's, just, that's just the way it is. Amen. And so with that, I'm going to preach in Babylon. Amen. And I'm, going to, I'm going to preach God's word as long as I'm still alive. Amen. And I'm going to tell all the Babylonians. I'm going to tell all everybody everywhere about God's grace. I'm going to preach. I'm going to preach it just like it is. I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to preach to the politicians. I'm going to preach to everybody who, who uh, uh, is not politician. I'm going to preach to everybody. Amen? Amen. That's what we're supposed to do. Amen, somebody? Amen. We're, we are of another kingdom. I'm preaching my other kingdom. Amen? <laughs> I'm preaching my kingdom. I'm not preaching about how great uh, a great America is. Amen? I'm, I'm preaching about how great the, the land I'm going to is. Amen. That, that's what I'm doing. Amen. And uh, but I do want to look at some of the years that is coming. Amen. And uh, uh, again, I'm not being political. I'm being biblical. Amen. Y'all know the Bible talks about pestilence. I, you know, everybody's worried about this vaccine. The vaccine's going on. And you know, if I'm gonna take it, I said, well, I, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna take it. At least until all the older people have it. Amen. Uh, that, that, that's only fair. But uh, even then, you know, I, I doubt if, if I take it. I, I've always been a rebel like that. Uh, uh, it's not because I think it's the mark of the beast or any, any, uh, any kind of uh, thing like that. It's just I, I don't take the vaccine. Uh, last time I took a vaccine, it was a flu vaccine. I come down with the pneumonia. Got to the hospital, come down with a double pneumonia, amen? And so I'm like, <laughs> I ain't do it, amen? Uh, that, that's it, amen, as far as me going to take vaccines. But uh, I'm, I'm just saying uh, that, uh, you know, if you want to take it, take it. If you don't, don't, amen? Uh, it's, it is a choice, amen? It's, it's not like that they're making anybody, though there's talk that they're going to issue cards or who's been, you know? I don't, I don't put it past anybody. Today, Amen. I don't. Uh, you know, it could be that they eventually make it mandatory, like the uh, measles and what is it, uh, uh, all these other vaccines and junk, yeah, rebel, all that stuff. You know, uh, mandatory for kids to go to school. You know, they have to have it. You know, I, I don't know. You know, uh, but uh, you know, as the uh, feminists and all that stuff come up with, my body, my choice. So. Uh, I bless God. I think I have a choice, right? <laughs> Amen. So uh, my body, my choice. If I won't take it, I will. If I don't, I won't. And I, I'm not gonna listen to anybody's grappling about it, complaining. Oh, you took a vaccine or you didn't take it. Uh, I'm just gonna do me. Is that all right? I, I'm just gonna do me, and I'm not going to condemn anybody for taking it. Amen. Uh, I'm just gonna sit back and watch and see what happens to them. <laughs> Amen. I'm gonna take notes and. I'm going to be like, well, okay, they made it. They, they did, you know. But, uh, uh, you know, it is for our 
own good and things like that. But, uh, but as we all know, uh, you know, with new leadership uh, coming to America, there's, there's always uh, uh, new guidelines. There's always new stuff. Uh, of course, to us, it really ain't new because we're used to being under the thumb. Amen. But, uh, you know, we, we, we've never seen this much pressure or anger today against biblical values. Somebody give me a witness? I mean, it, it, see, it seems like everybody, everybody, it seems like everybody is mad at the church. They're always mad at the church. Oh, I mean, you know, they point their finger. Hey, they, 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 you know, it's, they're, they're always mad at the church. Amen? And there's been a, a lot of people that tried to uh, that try to anticipate what the church is going to look like under uh, a Biden Harris administration. You know, like, well, what's well, it going to look like right here? It's going to look like it right here. It's going to look like it right here. Well, guys, I'm going to tell you something. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to tell you something. The church of God will be the church of God no matter what. No matter who or no matter where, whatever is in office. Period. The church of God will be the church of God. Somebody say amen. Amen. We're not, we're not called to be political. How many times am I going to say that? Amen. Uh, per se. I'm going to say per se. We're not called to be political. Amen. Per se. But we are called to be biblical. That, amen somebody. And uh, any which way it goes, amen, uh, any which way it goes, amen, but I am saying this, uh, whatever does roll up around the corner, amen, and what's coming, what's really coming around the corner, amen, is really going to be about how we get our message out from 21 forward, period, about how we do what we do, how we get this message out, amen. It, it, it's not just only Biden, y'all. Amen. You know, people say, people say, well, Pastor, you're anti-Biden. Uh, well, no, not just that. Amen. It's, you know, I, I can like who I want to like. Amen. I can support who I want to support. All that, but it's, it's it's not it's not just that, guys. Look, Pastor, what do you guys look? It's 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 things like uh, it's things like Twitter. Amen. It's it's uh it's uh. Uh, it's not just Biden and all. It's, it's things like uh, Instagram. You got YouTube. You got uh, good old brother Google. Good old brother Google, man, is uh, censoring a lot of the stuff that, that goes on that, that's said today. <laughs> Amen. Google, imagine that. You know, I, 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 can, I can come up with uh, Twitter. I'd be like, man, I can see that. Uh, uh, even, you know, even some of my... Uh, uh, even some of my uh, videos have been flagged on YouTube and stuff. You know, I don't know. I can see that, you know. But then, uh, you know, Instagram, oh, I can see that. But then when it comes to Brother Google, censoring, hey, come on. So, hey, man, look, guys, they are not fans of biblical values. I mean, we understand it. I mean, they just don't like it. Amen. I can't tell you how many times on Facebook that I have been put in Facebook jail. <laughs> and where I can't even post, I can't even make messages. I just had to sit there and read through posts and read through posts because I'm being punished because I made a post or something that was biblical, what the Bible said. Oh, and it upset not just the people, because most of the time the people, you know, they, they don't pay no attention to me. <laughs> you know, I've, I've even had uh, people even here that used to uh, attend church even that blocked me because of, not because they don't like me, but because they just don't want to uh, hear my Bible stumping. You know, you know, they, you know they're, they're like, I'm just tired of this. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it no more. And so they, they that's okay. I, I wasn't upset over that. Amen. But just uh, over biblical Bible stuff, you know, that used to go to church here, you know. And, uh, but I, I was like, well, that's fine. It, it did kind of hurt my feelings, but I, I got over it. Amen, somebody? Uh, but, uh, uh, 
But, uh, you know, they, well, my, my point is, they, they, don't, they don't listen. If you don't like somebody's style, whatever, preach, whatever, they, they don't listen to you. Amen? They, they will just simply Facebook uh, with, with his big hand saying, Look, brother, you're going to get it right, Jack. Amen? Or I'm going to put you in, in Facebook jail. You know? I'm going to take your account away from you. Amen? Get, getting strikes on, the, on YouTube for, for, for what? Preaching the Bible. Amen? And uh, you get another strike, and your account is, is canceled. All this kind of stuff. Brother, you get it right. You know, no, normally people, what, uh, 100, 200 views? <laughs> you know, and they're worried about, right? It's, it's, not just, it's just not just them worrying about somebody having their feelings hurt. You know what it is? They want this right here. They want the power to be able to tell you what you can and can't post, preach, and do. Amen? So... They just don't like it. I'm gonna be right. They just don't like it. Amen. And so I, I believe that this year alone, that we as the church will see a lot more censorship on uh, on uh, on our content. They'll be going through it. They'll be flagging things. You know, China's gonna be busy. <laughs> you know, Ch China is the ones that does that uh, that uh, uh, misinformation. You know stuff. I, I, you know I probably flagged for saying that, but but they but uh, you know but the people are gonna be busy talking about misinformation and AKA fake news, in regardless of what you say. Amen. And so uh, uh, you know Facebook, you got uh, Twitter, you got uh, Instagram, you got YouTube, you got Brother Google. Now that's all of it is in there on this kind of stuff, trying try to silence our content. Amen. But as always, come on, y'all help me preach now. As always, God will always open up other ways for us to be able to preach the gospel without fear and, 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 and be bold to speak. Amen. As the Apostle Paul says, pray for me that I'll be bold to speak as I ought to speak. Amen. We will not cower down and be afraid or ashamed of this gospel. Amen. The Bible do doesn't say that if you are ashamed of me, then, then I'll be ashamed. He says, if you're ashamed of me and my words, he said, then I'll be ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. There's a lot of people that's not ashamed of Jesus, but yet they're ashamed of his word that he says. And they, they always try to they always try to tone it down a little bit. I always try to water it down, Brother Lee. Amen. And, and just make it more acceptable to the people, non offensive to the to the to the social media networks. So they don't get in Facebook jail or, or they don't get treated like some kind of animals or, or some kind of backwoods somebody that don't know what they're talking about. I've always said uh, freedom of speech is, is, free, is, is not freedom of speech if everybody agrees with it. Freedom of speech is freedom of speech, period. If everybody in the room hates it, if everybody in the room comes, it, it does not matter. Freedom of speech is freedom of speech. I'm telling you, God will open up other ways. I mean, we, we've already got that. Uh, uh, I just found out about OWN, uh, OAN, One American News, which reports the news. Amen. Uh, you know, I believe, you know, that's, I don't know how long it's been out, but, you know, I, I, j just now, uh, uh, the last uh, few weeks, uh, maybe a month or so, have, have uh, learned about it. Amen. And, and uh, you know, it's, that's a news network that, that hopefully it'll flourish. Hopefully it'll flourish, but yet it might get shut down too. I wouldn't put it past them, amen. If 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 they're on Brother Google or they depend on Brother Google at all, good old Brother Google is going to shut them down just like they did Parler. Amen, somebody. Amen. And so uh, so it's I'm, I'm I'm talking about the church, guys. Okay, coming up our message. Amen. I, I'm not I'm not. Being political, you know, I'm, I'm just talking about being concerned, citizen, being a Bible thumper, and being, being, being concerned about what's coming up. And again, just, you know, just for the record of this message, for, for those listening by social media and different, different avenues like that, I'm just saying, I'm reminding you that I, I, I'm, not, I'm not being political, I'm being biblical uh, here, amen, on my concern of what that we'll be facing in the years coming up, Amen. Just, uh, just, uh, just, uh, just the laws, Amen. And 
and, and the legislation and, and all that uh, will be overturned even. Amen? That even uh, that, uh, that, that the Trump administration uh, put in, amen, or uh, maybe that wasn't passed uh, through uh, uh, Trump, you know, and, 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 and Pence and all that, things that wasn't passed through their administration. Well, good old example of that is, is, the, is the Old Equality Act. Yeah, brother. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, uh, uh, you know, guys, do you realize that that will, if that's passed, or rather, let me, when that's passed, uh, and it probably will be, amen, that, that it, it'll, it'll make it illegal to say gay marriage is wrong? Did you understand that? Did you understand that, 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 that when we begin to preach what the Bible says about homosexuality or something like that, you, you know, that, that it, it'll be, uh, you know, call homosexuality a sin or something like that, that, uh, uh, you know, that biblical warning from the Bible, from love, amen, and concern, uh, will be labeled by law hate speech because of the good old Equality Act. Can you imagine that? And guys, uh, it probably will be passed. Coming up, amen. Uh, they're calling, they're calling evil good and good evil today. Amen. In our time is what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about somewhere way up in the future like we used to preach, amen, about ca calling, uh, calling good evil and, uh, and uh, calling uh, uh, evil good, you know. Uh, uh, you know, and, you know that's what the, that we used to preach. Oh, boy, they're going to be calling, you know. And, and, but we're in that day right now. Today. The Bible says, woe to you people that call good evil and that call evil good. Woe to you guys. Amen? And also under the Equality Act, did you know that churches will have to hire uh, transgender or homosexual people on their staff? Now think about that one. What a conflict that's going to be, right? I mean, I, I mean, just, just uh, you know, making you feel like that big, you know? And uh, you, can't, you can't preach against it, you can't say that against it, and you've got to hire them to work for you on your staff. Amen? And uh, uh, so it, it just, I mean, it's just, it just crazy, amen? We'll also be viewed as the, as the anti-vaccine backwood people. Because a lot of them born-again uh, Christians have concerns about them vaccines, right? And, uh, uh, you know, a long sermon short, cutting off about four or five pages here, amen? Guys, y'all see where this is going, right? Y'all see where all of this stuff is going, right? Amen. But my point is this. My point is this. The true church. The true church. Hey, the church is going to be the church. Amen. The Man, the China church faces this kind of stuff daily. Y'all know that, right? They face this kind of stuff daily. So, long uh, sermon short, guys. The church will be the church. <laughs> Woo, come on, somebody. The church will be the church. Amen. We're, we're not supposed to be uh, uh, fearful uh, when all this stuff happens. We're not supposed to be, oh, well, I don't want to be arrested. What about my image? I just don't, I just don't want to be uh, flagged here as being, uh, as being non supportive of the government and non supportive, you know, of the status quo or what's going on. You know, well, at this point, we're going to have to give up our image. <laughs> You know, and, uh, and you know we're we're not supposed to be afraid when all this stuff happens. Look, the the greater the darkness, the greater the light of the gospel. Amen. Somebody, the light of the gospel will shine forth a lot brighter. Amen. Through the through the through the great perils of darkness. Amen. But like I preached this morning, guys, we've been living too comfortable. We, amen. We, we, we in the church have been living too comfortable. Amen. It's been too easy for us. You know, pre preaching. Oh, well, you know, going out there witnessing, going out there the street preaching and, and all this. Oh, well, that's the that's a, that's a if I've got the time, you know. And, 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 and so, so man, we, we've been living comfortable. And we can go out there and preach. And not, not really too much persecution going on there. Amen. It, it's been way too easy for us. Just like... Uh, just like over here in Revelation, 
Revelation, uh, what is it, chapter, chapter 3? Revelation chapter 3. And verse uh, 14 says, And to the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning uh, of the creation of God. I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I could wish you were cold or hot. Verse 16, So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold or hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Verse 17, Because you say, because you say, I am rich and have become wealthy and, and have need of nothing and do not know that you are wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. Amen. And so, man, just the church of this idea. Amen, somebody. You know, now, Hallelujah. They were big and wealthy. They had it going on, amen, in the community and all that kind of stuff. But God said this. God said, you're poor. Oh, but wait a minute, I'm big, wealthy, and we're involved in God said, you're poor. God said, you're wretched. God said, you are miserable. God said, you are blind and you're naked. Amen? And that's the type... That, that, Guys, that, that's the type of picture of the church today. And I think the church is about to be woke up big time. Amen? I think the church is about to be... You know, guys, anytime, anytime the pressure is turned up, anytime the pressure is, is, you, know, is, is, is you know, turned up a little bit uh, uh, rougher, amen, that's when the, the, that's when the true church will be known. Amen? Because there ain't no way, excuse my grammar, but there ain't no way that the carnal Christians will, will, will ever be in agreement to suffer persecution. They won't. Ain't no way. Ain't no way that the carnal, carnal Christian, the carnal church, amen, will be like, oh, well, you know, we better press through. We better do what the Bible says. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, they, they won't. Amen, somebody. Never will happen. Never will happen, amen? They'll cave in every time. They'll, they'll give biblical way, biblical uh, uh, concerns. They'll, they'll, they'll throw that right out the window just to be able to say, and, you know, get a big old pat on the back by the, by the big fat pharaohs of the day, amen? And, oh, boy, that's, that, that's okay. Amen? Never happened with the carnal Christian. Now, guys, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. We've, we've talked about it. We know the deal. Amen. We know the deal. Uh, I preached it. Uh, y'all have preached it. I've heard y'all preach it also. We've talked about it. We know the deal. Amen. And all I'm saying is just keep looking up. Amen. That, that's... That's, that, that's all I'm saying. All, all this other stuff, you know, uh, whatever happens, we still going to do us. I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to preach just like I preach, how I preach, however I preach, when I preach, I'm going to obey the Lord. Amen? If, if it hair lips everybody uh, that listens to me. Amen? And it, and, and it turns up every nose this side of West Tennessee. Amen? I'm still going to preach what God said for me to preach. Amen? But all, all, all I'm saying is just keep looking up. Amen? All, all, all I'm encouraging us to do is keep moving forward by God's grace. Amen? And don't, don't, don't cave in and, and, and be all upset and worried and just, oh, look what's going on. You know, no, guys. Say, look what's going on. Amen? Jesus Christ is coming back. Amen? And, and, and guys, we need to be found faithful. Amen? And not wanting. We need to be found faithful. This ain't nothing new for us. Amen? But it's just now coming into full view. Just now coming into full view. You know, we always wondered how that they would gain control over, over the church doors, you know? Uh, just the threat of 
of, of us not do, you know following through with that uh, with the with the quality act. You know, we tell them no. You know, we can't hire you because you're homosexual. Because it goes against our who who, who we are. You know, then they'll they'll take our 5013C tax status. You know, and uh, make make a mockery of us out there in front of everybody. You know, cause backwood uh, haters and you know just hating. You know, and and you know I, I you know I you know I I say this you know I, 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 I you know I, I say this if if it'll get them off our back to where that we can preach what the Bible says do. Bring it, you know. Let, let them, you know, we'll, the church be fine with all that. Amen? Right? We'll see a lot of hatred of the church. All of it will be turned up. But it's nothing new for us. Amen? It's nothing new. So don't be all discouraged. Don't be all uptight and upset. Because, you know, because uh, people do... Uh, stupid stuff to the church and about the church and say things about the church. Guys, look, you know, it's, it's just now really come into view where we say, oh, that's how they go. Oh, that, yeah, everything's making more sense, right? Amen. So I just wanted to encourage us here. Amen. Don't, don't worry about this. Just still keep on doing what you're doing. Amen. Preaching God's word. Uh, being biblical, uh, sharing your faith, preaching your faith. Amen. Uh, let the world do them, and we'll go out there with them, you know, and we'll preach the gospel to them, and we'll we'll hang out with the with the sinners and the Republicans and the Democrats, and uh, you know, we'll hang out out there with the you know, with, with, with all of the uh, tax collectors and prostitutes, and we'll, we'll just hang out with them and preach the gospel. How's that? Amen. And just preach his word. Uh, we'll hang out with the drunkards and, uh, just, and just preach his word. Amen. And preach the love of God. Now, uh, hopefully they'll a a accept us, but they probably won't. But we'll still preach his word. Amen. And we'll be known, amen, in heaven for that. Father God, I just thank you for this opportunity to preach here this evening. I give you the praise and the glory and the honor. I just pray right now, Lord God, that uh, that we can be a, a church that is that is encouraged in a big way, not discouraged, but encouraged, and uh, to know that you are uh, you are our God, and we love you, we appreciate you, and especially for allowing us to live in this time that we're in today. That. Allow us to preach your gospel. Allow us to be bold. Don't let us be timid. Don't, don't, don't let us be fearful and afraid of what the people will say, or what the, what the uh, uh, laws will do, and all this kind of stuff. Let, let, let it fall where it falls, however it falls. It's okay because this is not our permanent home anyhow. We're just making a, a little short stop here to preach your word and to be faithful. Uh, and I, I just thank you, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. Everybody said amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, Brother Bobby, come on, my friend. Um, I'm not going to have an altar call per se. Amen. I just just pray that y'all be encouraged. Amen. In this end time. Brother Bobby, come on, my friend, and uh, uh, lead us in worship. Don't get the